So, yeah, so East Ham yesterday got to <laughs> East Ham yesterday got to pick uh, who he wanted to play specifically in his in his pool, and he just chose all snakes because he's so good at the matchup. Like he didn't even hide it though. Like when it came up to like his turn to draft. He was like, what snakes are available? Okay, I want that snake. Give yeah. me that one. <laughs> and in his turn again, like, are there any? Okay, there's another snake. Give me that snake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, now we're going to get the run back from Pound. We have uh, Salem versus Pelka. Yeah, so Salem was able to win that recent set at Pound, but it was actually a reverse trio beating that. You know, Pelka actually started off really solid with the lead, and then Salem just kind of brought it back. So, I don't know, snake deals are just so crazy because there's so many explosions happening on the stage. And, uh... I don't know, I guess whoever has the best stage control usually is the one that wins. Right now, though, they're actually just going like right into each other. They're Ooh. boxing crazy. Dropping real low with that back air, too, unfortunately, giving up stage control and now getting a reverse of Helka, getting a little bit extra damage for Salem's mistake. Yeah, that was actually really uncharacteristic for Salem to go for something so risky. Because normally, he's like the one that's just going to play extremely safe on stage, like throw all the projectiles and force the other person to approach. But uh, right now, Helka's kind of playing that role really well. Yeah, well, now we see them both, you know, pulling back, starting to really bring out their explosives. I mean, like you said, just with having one snake on the on the screen is already a lot of explosion. But when you have two, yeah. it's just going to be a spectacle of four, explosions. Four grenades <laughs> and two C4s. This is just crazy. That's more TNT than Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, from what I noticed, oh, geez, that was actually a really good placement of the C4. Yeah, but normally whoever can get the C4 either in the middle on one of the, or on one of the platforms usually has the most stage control because the other snake doesn't want to approach anywhere near the C4 and risk getting blown up. And the uh, snake that put the C4 in the middle can just throw grenades like behind it. It's really rough to deal with most of the time. So what happens when both snakes put C4 in the middle? <laughs> then they just, it's just a stalemate pretty much. <laughs> it's like a game of chicken really. It's like, who's going to approach first? As you can see, you know, with four grenades on the screen, you just a little bit more of an inclusion of the Akita. Oh, and right there. There it was. It was on the platform. Chucko didn't pay attention. Just got caught by the C4. I mean, so it now, really comes down to just, like, your stage awareness. Because not only do you have to keep track of, like, where the grenades are being thrown, if Akita's on the map, mortars are being thrown, and, of course, the C4 being as strong as it is. Ooh. Nice. Put it into the up so Salem actually has some really good hit confirms with this character. Yeah, now Pepe's throwing out that up till he definitely, desperately wants the kill because he knows going down the snake deal is already pretty rough because you have to approach and deal with all the projectiles. But any percent you get is just ice going to cake that up till spacing though. Nice. He just walk outside of range. That's right. And then Salem extending his own hurt box. You know, really helped Pelka in that situation. Good, good just ledge traps in general. Dude, oh, Pelka is just letting bombs fly like over and over. Salem doing an extra job of uh, avoiding most of them really. I mean, we might need to recast these two players in the, you know, Expendables 4 with the amount of explosions <laughs> that we have here. Seriously. Look, they're just throwing the grenades at each other, <laughs> pulling it up in the middle, not even hitting anyone. <laughs> okay, more grenades, and as you can see, Salem is starting to set up, but a dash attack and a reverse grab. Now it's going to put him oh. in the stage control. Oh, he couldn't tech that. That's so unfortunate. I mean, that's the chance you, that's the, the, the chance you take when you start riding the stage. Okay, I'm gonna have to them off the stage, but yeah, Salem only took 19%. This is like a huge lead for Snake. Like, Snake even lives long against himself. Even though Snake <laughs> has like such good kill power, Snake's like heavy enough to live most things until a really high percent. Which unless really, you get like an early stock, like a fair or something. Which really means that, you know, Salem now has the, the opportunity to play a little bit more um, dangerous. Yeah. Because he, he, he has room for error now. Exactly. Not that he will, because I just feel like yeah. Salem just gonna Salem is just one of the most the safest players I I see. Yeah, and he's all about his setups too. Like the only time I see him going for something crazy is if there's a grenade to cover him. Even right there, Salem like jumping off stage, but he had the C4 and a grenade covering both the platform and the ledge. Oh, oh boy, the C4 again. Like he knows exactly when Pelos gonna try to blow it up. I like the use of C4 from Pelka. It's making great use of like the beer reversals and then just init immediately just exploding it. But he just immediately exploded off stage with that Nikita. It's so hard to avoid that, especially when you don't have a jump and a snake. You're forced to just use your cipher. You can't necessarily maneuver with the cipher either. You can you can only go in a linear pattern the way you want to recover. So thank this you very really much, Super Shark Fist, for the oh, five dollar donation. donation. 
Thank you for the donations coming. We appreciate all you can do to donate to this great cause from Goodwill. This is really cool that we're able to partner with Goodwill on like a charity event like this. I don't think yeah, we've ever really. done anything like. And from what I under, from what I've heard, uh, I think it's about ninety two cents per dollar is what's actually going towards the donations, mm -hmm. like to actually like benefit uh, the cause. Right. So you know, keep those donations coming. Your money really is making a difference. Okay, but we're back on PS two. It's, a, it's kind of surprising. I mean, I guess this is a comfort pick for most people. It's a great snake stage, so I think Pokey just realized Stage didn't necessarily have anything to do with me dropping that game. I just gotta step it up, you know? Yeah, it was really his the, just the recovery options that he was forced to make. Uh, and then Salem just being in the right position to punish him. So I'm chilling at the edge like, yeah, I know you have to get next to me. I know you're just screening for that up tilt, but you got to go through all these explosions first. You can't Yo, get next No to one's me. approaching with that <laughs> amount. Like, four grenades that are constantly bouncing off each other and just sort of ending up in between them. Being the median of the two snakes. This is so funny. Fuck, <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> just like hanging back on the platform just throwing grenades for God knows how long. And I know that there are people who actually like will watch snake dittos and be like, uh, snake dittos. But at the same time, how can you be like bored or upset watching these two go at it? Look at everything that's going on on the screen. Yeah, everything exploding. Right? <laughs> Every, it's like two explosions <laughs> per second or something crazy like that. So this uh, kind of strategy of hanging back, just tossing the grenades actually working really well for him. I mean, he only took 31%. Already has Salem pretty close to kill percent too. And I don't think there's been any time where he's been forced to approach. I like that choice from Salem. If he did the early uh, Cypher, Pelka, he would have been able to cover it with like his own up B. But uh, it's probably with a smart recovery. Mm -hmm. And then you see Salem looking like he was going to go high, but then fast falls right to, uh, right to the ledge. But Pelka there to cover the ledge option. Nice grenade into the neutral. That's a clean 33% <laughs> off of just one exchange. Snake damage output is insane, honestly. I mean, when you have the power of grenades and bombs, you should have high damage output. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm trying to rack it up a little bit. Puggle with the smart recovery, covering his line with the C4 explosion, and now he's back under the platform. So I'm just trying to get in right now, but it's, it's really rough, dude. The explosions oh. are everywhere. Almost got the double grenade to up there. Just gonna grab him again. Puggle looking way better this game. Yeah, but now you see Salem at the ledge, and oh, the bomb exploding in his face because the other grenade uh, just planted right in between them. Yeah. And as you can see, his position switching once again. Pelka retreating to the platform. Nice. His grenade placement is so good, but avoid, he doesn't avoid the C4. Kind of got caught slipping with his own movement there. Moving a little bit too crazy. Oh, Salem. Yeah, Salem was definitely going for something crazy. He just wanted to throw him on stage and go for like a 4 error. Oh my goodness, C4 grenade combination. Did you see the way Salem actually used his own Cypher to act like a wall for, for Pelka having to deal with? Yeah. As soon as Pelka started to like... Oh, we blew up the oh Cypher! Oh my goodness, and Nikita <laughs> blew up the Cypher. And when that happens, you can't up beam or you're pretty much going to helpless state. So, that was a pretty good snipe from out there from Pelka. And that was really good for him too, because Salem was starting to get warmed up. It looked like the momentum was in his favor a little bit. Yeah, I mean, but now he's going to have to get that momentum going once again as Pelka's take the lead. And now feeling real comfortable at the ledge, just continuing to throw out grenades, but Salem able to capture the down tilt. Now Pelka's on the other side of the stage. Now watch the Nikita. Oh my goodness, the grenade exploded and it blew him up right into the Nikita. That's so unfortunate for Pelka. Look how much percent he took from the grenades, dude. That was like four grenades and it took like 26. Yo, now Salem's back in this game, dude. These grenades looking really, really clean from Salem. Like, oh my god, even going for trades and Salem slowly bringing back the deficit. Yeah, he did an amazing job bringing this back. Huckos Lee was insanely uh, high in his favor. Mm -hmm. The sense pretty much even as you go in and now the grenades. He sees Pelka like starting to approach a little bit more. Nice, gets the back air out. Okay. Barely gets hit by the Nikita there. He's gonna go high. Yeah, but that grenade's gonna interrupt Pelka's uh, ledge guard, but covering the ledge up, uh, ledge landing with F tilt, Pelka's taking game two. Yeah, Salem uh, kind of put himself in a rough spot. I think if he was just a little bit, uh, if he times air dodge a little bit later, he could have grabbed the ledge instead of landing on stage with the lag. I definitely think that's what he was going for, but unfortunately missing that, and uh, Pelka's gonna take that one. Good stuff from him, not like letting Salem come back on him like that, because that was almost a complete comeback from Salem. Yeah.
That's right. I mean, just think about like the damage that would have done if Salem was able to take game two after Helga having such a lead. Like that definitely puts a put the damper on your moral. Yeah. So I, I'm guessing we're gonna get like a whole PS2 set right now. It's <laughs> gonna get back to the same stage. I mean, with the way that both of these players are able to utilize the platforms, and especially with the, how they're how proficient they are in setting up their traps, why wouldn't we see game like game five on uh, Pokemon Stadium? Nice. Oh, it was a little bit too slow. I think he wanted to grab him while he was but he got the C4 stuck on him. Poker's gonna try to wait it out as long as possible. I think. Oh my goodness, that was actually crazy. If if like the grenades and the C4 like worked together there while I was stuck on Salem, that could have been a free shield break. It almost did break his shield. But we're dropping down, landing the back air, and Pelka immediately using the Cypher. Oh, nice. Got the grenade and the C4 to explode right next to Salem. Pelka's C4 use is actually really impressive, honestly. I mean, he uses it in a multitude of ways. He, of course, uses it for movement when he does a reversal. And then he'll immediately explode just so he has access to it again. And then it's also applying pressure. It's such a triple threat. Oh, great tech, but he air dives right into the jab. Not gonna get the last hit though. Still at the ledge. Oh yeah, he just runs out of there. It's like, all right, I gotta get away from this ledge. And Salem's applying way too much pressure. Oh my goodness. Wow, it exploded. Or the Nikita just completely uh, gets negated there. I'm not sure what he hit. Like, look, he literally exploded off of something, but he only air dodged. That was weird. Yeah, very strange, but we see another F tilt ditching that grenade. But whiffing that dash attack, and Salem's gonna punish with an up tilt. Still looking really good here though for Pelka. Oh Ooh. nice, has a really good trade. Yeah, trade mortar the mortar exploding with the... right in the base. Oh wow, that was crazy. What a setup there. Oh, wow. I guess the tech roll read. The damage Dang. continued for Salem. That looked like 0 to 83. It basically was, man. That was <laughs> crazy. Salem does not like let you keep a lead for long, man. This guy's never giving up. He always he's always in the in the game no matter how far behind he can be. Man, nice. Okay, death. Uh, F tilt landing onto Pelka now oh. exploding the Nikita on the ledge. Man, Salem That's bringing smart. it back again. Okay, so I go low. Nice air dodges up. Pelka at the ledge though. The seat, the cipher actually knocking Salem off the stage, and oh. we got a SD. Oh. Yeah, going yeah. for the edge guard, trying to punish the slow recovery of Salem. Pelka fast falls right into the blast zone. That was unfortunate too, because Salem even tech the <laughs> he tech the back air anyway. So like <laughs> even if he did like you know, waste his life to do that. Still would have been in an advantage position anyway. <laughs> well, I guess we take those. Salem going up 2-1 now. Uh-uh. Pelka's -uh. still playing really well. Uh, even though he dropped that game, it, it's basically even between these guys. Yeah, we do have game advantage for Salem. Now we're gonna see, of course, starting very similar fashion for the other uh, three games we've seen. Yeah, I wish I saw their first set at a pound. They really seem to really match. I wonder if they had a, the same situation as they have here, like all the games on PS2. So I like it, the Z drop grenade to the back row, really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And now we see another back row of Elka setting up the Nikita, using the stair stepper to come fall right back down to the stage. Ooh, F smash, okay. I like F smash at the ledge. I haven't seen any of them go for it yet, but like it's really good to cover roll if you put a grenade like right in front of you at the ledge and they try to like roll past the grenade. You just time your F smash to catch the roll. You kill really okay. early. Okay. Okay, so then you're retreat. Nice B reverse into the C4. Now you got all the grenades in front of him, keeping him pretty safe. The voice of the grenade himself and you got the, the key out as well. Okay, it's, it's Salem, <laughs> Salem able to escape the escape the ledge. Because uh, Pelka had a C4 set up, which really acted like a wall, like you were saying. It made it really difficult for Salem, but now he's escaped. He's center stage, and now it's his time. <laughs> Bro, so many explosions. It's like so impressive to me that they're able to avoid like blowing up all the time. I think with the amount of explosions that are happening, it, the smoke actually kind of covers up some of the other projectiles and uh, and traps. Pelka's trying to pressure him at the ledge. He has no invincibility, but he's not going to go for anything crazy. He's hit by the get-up attack. That's well, unfortunate. Yep, the explosion will keep Salem in the air. And we see a back attack, and the Nikita's on the chase. Oh, man. Salem gets his hitbox out first. Now he has to deal with this Nikita here. Oh. Nice. The grenade actually keeping him safe. Yeah, it took Salem out of the Nikita animation. Going for his Nikita here. Pressuring the shield. 
Probably just hanging back, playing safe on the platform here. He knows that he's in a good spot. Do you see the way that Nikita is traveling? It's actually hitting the grenades to stop them oh. from approaching Salem. Yeah. It's also good, too, because uh, if you hit the Nikita missile, it actually disables it. You hit it with a hitbox. Great down throw into the up tilt there, though. Once you hit 160% down throw, up tilt is guaranteed. I think around 140 as well, you can do down throw up tilt, too. Okay, nice. with the stair stepper into dash attack. Oh, Sam was trying to get their approach, but Falcon just threw him right back out. Said, nope, you got more grenades to deal with. Is he going to go high? Nice. Reads where he's going to roll there. Okay, so I'm in a bad spot at the ledge, but Kessler's a little on the platform. Oh, gets the C4 stick. What is he going to do here? Puck is going to try to approach. Nice. Gets the block out. Puck tried to run and just stick it on and save him. Save him a little bit too smart for that. Oh, barely avoids the Nikita missile. Doing a tech chase here. No so, rolls towards the ledge. Yep, retreating to the other side of the stage. Pelka now setting up his grenades. You see the approaching with the Nikita. Double Nikita coming out. How did it, Nikita went through his? That was crazy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he actually up tilted his hands when he tried to grab him. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Yeah, man, no hands here, just up tilts. So everyone gets jumped into the Nikita missile, only giving him 10%. Again, these guys are just so even. Going back and forth, nice down tilt to the dash attack though. Forcing him to go high here. Nikita on the chase, but using the down air to disable the Nikita long enough for Pucka to sneak by. All right, so setting up here, getting really good with the grenade placement. Puck is trying to trap on one side of the stage here. And Salem playing smart around the explosives. He's not getting caught up that much. If anyone's getting caught, it's Puck right now getting blown up left and right. Gets stuck by the C4 again. And yep. that's the back throw down B. Really good stuff. I love seeing Snake players. When they see that you're, a, you're on the platform just chilling, just shielding, thinking that you're safe, that's where you can go for those really... Uh, good C4 sticks. So. And it's so stylish, too. That's yeah. what I love about it because it's like you immediately put the C4 on, you chuck them back, like, yeah, goodbye. It, it's, it's one of the coolest. GG. Uh, <laughs> it's one of the coolest kill subs you can go for <laughs> in this game.